Unbox the unit by first cutting the shipping straps and removing the shipping staples. Then slide the cartoning up and off the unit. Next, remove the installation kit box from the inside of the unit's cabinet. The dispenser comes with the component shown as part of the installation kit. Before setting up the Nitro Pro Mini Dispenser, make sure to have the necessary tools shown. A Phillips and straight tip screwdriver, adjustable wrench, 9 16 socket wrench, and a clamp crimping tool. To remove the unit from the shipping pallet, locate the hexed bolts in each of the four underside corners. Using a 9 16 socket wrench, loosen each of the bolts until they can be removed by hand. Be careful removing the last one so the unit does not slide off the pallet. Install the four legs provided into the underside of the unit by threading the legs fully into each corner of the unit. Do not lay the unit on its sides or back. The use of the wooden pallet to support the unit while installing legs may be helpful. With the legs installed, locate the unit allowing for 4 inches of clearance in the back and 12 inches of clearance on top, along with 4 inches of clearance for each side of the unit. The counter must be able to support 185 pounds. Now attach the 3 8 female flare swivel elbow with 3 8 bar fitting supplied with the unit and the white 3 8 flared plastic washer to the water inlet fitting at the rear of the unit. Secure the fitting and washer with a wrench, being careful not to over tighten. Continue the installation by attaching the 3 8 ID flex tubing to the rear of the unit using the Odeker clamp and crimping tool. Now connect the other end of the tubing to a water source that is between 35 PSI minimum and 90 PSI maximum static water pressure. Turn on water supply and inspect for leaks. If water pressure is too low, a booster pump will be required. Plug supplied power cord into receptacle located at the rear of the unit. A minimum of 15 amp electrical service is needed for the 120 volt unit and a minimum of 10 amp electrical service for the 230 volt unit. When unit is first applied electrical power, listen to hear the onboard air compressor located in the rear of the unit runs for approximately three seconds and observe that the cabinet's internal fan is on and running. Both are normal operations of the unit. Next, remove the two retaining screws holding the front splash panel and the panel itself and remove the protective film from the splash panel. Temporarily remove the water bath fill tube from the retainer bracket and pull out the plastic cap. Remove the red rubber shipping plug from tip of the nozzle and discard. Slide the tubing over the left side nozzle. It is important to not connect the tube to the right side nozzle as this will unnecessarily power the onboard air compressor if the right side dispense is used. It is very important to not have any coffee product located and connected inside of the unit cabinet at this point of the installation. Pull the left side dispense handle in one minute increments and allow dispensed water from the nozzle to fill the water bath tank. Continue to fill the tank until water starts to flow out the overflow tube located in the bottom center of the tank. The capacity of the water bath tank is approximately 1.62 gallons or 6.13 liters. It will be normal for a small amount of water to trickle out while the unit is initially forming ice in the water bath tank. Now replace the plastic cap and fill tube and replace the tubing in its original location. The unit is pre-plumbed at the factory, so when the water and concentrate connections are made, the left dispense tap will be the plain cold brew coffee and the right dispense tap will be the cold nitrogen-infused coffee. To initially sanitize the system prior to use, start by plugging in the quick disconnect tube assembly into the mating connector located inside the unit cabinet, and then connect the white bib adapter to the tube assembly by inserting and using a clockwise rotation until fully engaged. Now locate the dispense motor switch on the inside door panel and place in the clean position Prior to the initial use of the dispenser, the system will need to be sanitized. It is recommended to use a product such as K5 sanitizer or equivalent and follow the manufacturer's instructions to ensure 330 parts per million of available chlorine. After preparing the sanitizer, submerge the bib adapter into the container and place inside cabinet and close the door. Make sure both red shipping plugs in the nozzles have been removed. Now dispense a fourth of a gallon of sanitizer from each dispense tap, 
and then allow the sanitizer to soak for 20 minutes in system. After the 20 minutes, open each of the dispense taps separately and again pour another quarter of a gallon of sanitizer. Then remove the bib adapter by rotating counterclockwise and place the dispense motor switch on the inside door panel back to the on position. To begin pouring cold brew coffee, begin by looking at the bib packaging label to identify the mixing ratio of the concentrate to be installed. A 5 to 1 ratio is being used for this video. With the front splash panel removed, locate the block of four white dip switches. The dip switches have been pre-configured for ratios of 7 to 1, 5 to 1, 4 to 1, and 3 to 1 ratios going left to right. To set the dip switch position, use a small flathead screwdriver to set the desired switch to the up position with all other switches down. Only one single dip switch can be selected. If multiple dip switches are selected, control will default to factory setting of 5 to 1. First shake the package and open the concentrate box at the perforations and remove the packaging cap. Now connect the tube assembly bib connector to the concentrate bag mating connector using a clockwise rotation until fully seated. Now position the bib box and tube assembly as shown. If concentrate is not properly thawed, it will adversely affect the amount of concentrate dispensed. Thawed product should be between 35 degrees Fahrenheit, 1.6 degrees Celsius, to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4.4 degrees Celsius. Thawed product should have no ice particles remaining in the bib. To initially get the concentrate to fully mix with the water, first pull the left dispense tap handle and pour 16 ounces of product. Then open the right dispense tap handle and pour 8 ounces of product to prime with nitrogen. The unit's gas regulator for nitrogen infusion is located inside the unit cabinet. It is preset from the factory, but can be field adjusted. If an adjustment is needed to obtain more or less nitrogen-infused product, rotate the knob on the regulator clockwise to produce a creamier drink, or rotate the knob counterclockwise to produce a less creamier drink. When making any pressure adjustment, turn the knob no more than an eighth turn increment for either direction, then discard the first drink after the adjustment and evaluate the second drink. When done making adjustments, push the black knob in to lock regulator setting. With the dip switch selected, the unit will dispense the water and concentrate at the selected ratio. Additional small adjustments can be made to change the mixing ratio if required. This can be done by a momentary press of the up micro switch button to speed up the pump motor, resulting in a stronger drink, or a momentary press of the down micro switch button to slow down the pump motor, resulting in a weaker drink. The TDS, or total dissolved solids in a drink, can be measured using a coffee TDS meter. First start by pouring a sample drink from the left side dispense tap. Stir the coffee and make a small sample from center of the cup and place on the meter. Press the button and take the TDS reading. Although different blends of coffee will have different TDS readings, an average reading of 1.5 is average. Now replace the front stainless steel splash panel drip tray, cup rest, and install the pump deck cover inside the cabinet. The Nitro Pro Mini Dispenser is now ready for use.